Minecraft, the game everyone loves, a game that people just keep coming back to, a game that many people hold close to their hearts. Perhaps for some people, it may be how they remember the childhood. For some, it may be the memories that they made throughout the years. If you are watching this video, you obviously know about Minecraft, but if you don't, then let me tell you about it. Minecraft is a sandbox video game developed by Mojang Studio. The idea originated in the mind of Marcus Notch Pearson. After several early tests, it was released to the public, and the rest remains history. So, is Minecraft the first of its kind, or were there games with a similar concept before it? There was only one. Only one. Infiniminer released three years before the public release of Minecraft. Infiniminer was the main source of inspiration for Notch to make Minecraft. Infiniminer was very similar to Minecraft, having the blocky kind of style, sandbox multiplayer, and mining, but it was limited only to this extent. Notch wanted to make a game like Infiniminer but with RPG elements involved in it. That's why today you have zombies, creepers, skeletons, piglins, Herobrine, and many other entities in the game. Infiniminer was originally intended to be played as a team-based competitive game, where the goal is to locate and excavate precious metals and bring the findings to the surface to earn points for the player's team. However, as the game gained popularity, players gravitated towards the emergent gameplay functionality of building in-world objects Sounds familiar? Yes, they basically started playing Minecraft inside Infiniminer. Obviously, they didn't realize it back then. Infiniminer was increasing in popularity. It was doing good, but when all seemed to be good, one error, one fatal error, caused Infiniminer to fall flat on its face. After one month of the release of Infiniminer, the source code was leaked and the studio responsible abandoned development of the game. This allowed hackers to modify the game to make mods, which is not necessarily a bad thing you might say, because look at Minecraft. There are so many mods to play with and look for. But the thing is, only some of Minecraft's source code is open to the public. Only some of it is open to the public. But in this instance, the entirety of Infiniminus code was free to be edited and modified. This gave so much power to the public, it is just crazy. It's like being an op on a Minecraft server. You will, and you know what happens when you make someone an op? They just destroy everything. This is what happened with Infinimine. Hackers took advantage of this and made clients exploiting the vulnerabilities of the game and therefore fragmenting the user base. Who knows what kind of a game Infiniminer would have been today? Would it have been better than Minecraft? Or had Infiniminer survived the first year of its release, would Minecraft have even existed? Maybe we would have been playing Infiniminer now. Perhaps this video would have been the other way around. The word on every kid's mouth would have been Infiniminer instead of Minecraft. So, the past belonged to Minecraft. But what about the future? Let's be honest. Minecraft will not stay evergreen. All good things must come to an end. Although we may hope for it not to, it eventually happens. Minecraft just might, might face its big hurdle, a first hurdle, a competitor. If you don't already know what I'm talking about, it's Hytale. There has been so much hype around this game lately. People are just waiting for its release. So what is Hytale? Hytale is developed by Hypixel, which is also a server on Minecraft itself. And it is set to be released this year, that is 2021. If successful, it just might be a worthy competitor to Minecraft. But the fact remains, will players prefer Hytale over Minecraft? Will the players make the switch? According to my opinion, I doubt it. Looking at how Valorant impacted CSGO, they are both such similar games, but it hardly put a dent in CSGO's user base. CSGO still remains in the top of the Steam leaderboards. I don't know why, but it may just be that players have grown loyal to the game and have learned it so well making learning a new game just altogether boring. Maybe Minecraft must have imbued a sense of loyalty till now into its user base. 
there's a reason why Minecraft is being given such major updates, such as the Nether update and the upcoming Caves and Cliffs update. Giving the players what they actually want so that they stay, I mean, that's a foolproof strategy, right? Like, making consumers happy is what every firm means to do so that they keep earning profit. So, who will win? Only the future will tell. It's very uncertain as of now, means Hydale can do anything, and we don't know as of now. But if somebody's from the future, please tell me in the comments below. Please let me know in the comments below. I'm dying to know. So, yo, and me from the future here. Yeah. If you liked this kind of a video, please like, comment, and sub. And uh, so that, and tell me if sh I should continue these kind of videos because I enjoyed making this video, to be honest. And uh, yeah, if you did like this video and you want to watch more of this content, consider subscribing. It's free, I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. And if you get annoyed, if you get fed up of me, then you can unsubscribe anytime. It's your choice. Thank you for watching. I mean, I appreciate it. Thanks.